Hello, you beautiful people, and... Okay, it caught up. Okay, again. Hello, you beautiful people, and... Welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, where we just go on. I was a little bit afraid to say, thought these guys were tougher, but obviously not very, very good. That obviously helps out a lot. Katarina was, so to say, on cooldown. I guess she... We are in the same session, but I don't remember that she died, weirdly enough. But, um, she's back. And we can, so to say, go through the enemies. Why did I use the arcane bomb since it has a longer cooldown, yada, yada, yada? Because we are gonna have a little chat that obviously goes for the cooldown too. Must be a cruel joke of the tormentors. What the hell is a mortal doing here? Just passing through to pay a visit to a friend. Before your inevitable death, you could do us a service. Really? As you may know, this place was built eons ago to imprison the Titans. One is still alive and suffering in the nether regions. You see those spikes? With the huge chunks of meat pinned to them. The Tormentors harvest the flesh of the Titan every few centuries to keep him weak. And it's displayed here to make us suffer. We can't die, but remain starving, as the meat is protected by a curse. Are you offering me the honorable task of collecting Titan flesh? Only mortals can touch it. Another sadistic jest by the Tormentors. So much evil would make even my father stand in awe. We want to smuggle some flesh back to the Titan. To make her strong, so we can try to break out of this prison before the next harvest. If she makes it, we'll make it too. I want to get to the root of this macabre tale. What's next? Kill the tormentors, and obtain a meat clearing to cut chunks of flesh from the spikes. Then throw the chunks into the feeders. We will arrange the rest. Okay, that's a weird quest. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm obviously I'm watching YouTube videos too, and I'm a huge fan of Color of Digital, maybe um, you know the VFX channel, very very nice guys, I really really like them. What I want to come up with is actually they did a video on Attack on Titan, mm, I knew the, I've never seen it, but I know that there was a real life, no not a real life, but a um, it's a manga, right? On anime. Whatever is the difference. I know what's the difference. The point is, Attack on Titan is actually a movie and the enemy I do want to know. Why do I tell that? Okay, because of course uh, the Titan brought me up. I wonder if that has anything to do and if the Titans, whoopsie daisies, since, um, I mean, there are a lot of do you call that pop culture references in this game? Like, um, we have... Okay, yes, we got Trekla, that's a good one, but we, for example, um, got Plate in the game as well, or Daywalker. So I wonder if the Titans have anything to do with Attack on Titan. Um, I wonder actually where our lady... Ah, oh, there she is, Lady Katarina is. Thank you for finally coming back, baby. My little helpful tank as she is. Down. Okay, that was a giant. Alright, I think it was not that well gianty. Okay, and these guys are absolutely nasty. This is this is the fun fact, you know? All well, not all, but many of the ranged dudes in this game, they are utterly powerful. Okay, I know where the ink portal is gonna bring us, but we are gonna do a little exploration right there. But, I'm gonna check out what is the blue thingy there. I wonder, okay, let's take a quick look. The blue thingy obviously is a neutral dude. Ah, Professor Fulmigati. If this is hell, 
then this must be the circle for mad scientists. Okay, I'm sorry, I was just absorbing my tea. Alright, um, this guy is from the first part, although... I don't remember 100% of what the story arc around him was. And wasn't he the bad boy? I think so. Okay, I was a little bit afraid of these guys, but as you can see, they fall quickly. That is very, very good for us. That is very, very good for us. In case you wonder why I tend to clear everything out, it's obviously... Didn't I say it in this episode already? Then I <laughs> clearly tell the second time. Obviously, experience points, gold, and bloody loot. The whole purpose of, you know, going out for them enemies. And I think, I mean, yes, of course, you can, could argue that, I mean, you could argue in different ways, right? But I think for me, as a casual um, Gwen Helsing player right now, it's actually very, very satisfying to, well, have a lot of l good loot coming up, a lot of level ups, and that feels very, very satisfying right now. Very, very amazing. It only took me, by the way, um, three parts counting this one in to actually get used to the game. Isn't that amazing? I mean, the second part took me around 15 hours. I guess the first one too. So it took me only 30 hours to dive and understand. That's amazing, right? Okay, we will then return to the dude. Although, I have to say, I thought, I really thought we would see a Titan, you know, completely. Or we would fight the Titan. That's actually what I precisely thought. But, well... Was wrong okay we still need one more titan flesh So, back to the quest giver, I oversaw the pile of skulls, thank you, and then back, no, throw the meat chunks into the features, okay, let's do that, we are just right around the corner, so in the end, good that we cleared everything out already. Wasn't the exclamation mark? show there okay then we will find us up there okay first things first i have ever seen some dudes here so let's bring them down that was quick it's nice to see my bloodthirsty aunt here but it still can be worse than suffering through her saturday tea parties okay if you say so we obviously don't know that. At one point, we are going to discover that place, but in the end, I guess we have a ink gate um, on the top. I guess that is going to bring us to that location at the desired moment of the game designers. How did I possibly ever see the gold man?
Are you kidding me? We now need... Need to return to the dude. That is what I want to say. I would like some teleporter beacon like in, in Crystal Mata, but on the other hand, you know, in the following game, New Core Games did that, in my opinion. I can only talk about myself, obviously, a little better with them teleporter beacons. The spoils are on the way to the Titan. You managed to pull off the impossible, Traveler. Don't even try to pretend that you helped yourself to some. It was a feast after centuries of suffering, with a good chance to also make the original proprietor of the goods happy. Okay. Wait for a second. That titan flesh? It's said to have extremely potent, everlasting effects. Everlasting like death? Are you trying to get me killed? Look into my eyes, dear, and tell me you are not intrigued. Hmm. Some of us only live once. I'll taste it. All right. Um, do we need to taste it? I would not like to do that. Okay, then I would say we meet ourselves at the gate. And then let's finally go through the wonderful ink portal. And let's see what we are gonna see. Okay, as predicted, we find ourselves in the next stage. Do you have the amulet? Can we leave this place? Okay, we don't have the amulet as of yet. Um, guys, what I can say, we are still gonna play around two more minutes, but um, it's gonna be a little bit of a cliffhanger, although I feel we were quite productive with dying, for example. No, I think we were quite productive overall. We made progress, although here the we were shot by two, 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 many, two, 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 <laughs> many ranged guys. Please do the magic. Nice. Okay, now I'm afraid of... Okay, now these are champions, so I'm... It's alright to be afraid, right? Although, as you can see, they are quickly, quickly, so quickly kill off. There you can see why I'm happy to actually have that um, spell, which spell, of course, the Doomstorm which at the right moments obviously amazingly helps out and kills plenty of enemies very, very quickly. Not, yeah, maybe I'm using it in that direction a little wrongly through, because I guess the damage we do through the explosion is fair enough, but I'm, but I'm rather using it because of the dogs. It does 1400 king damage, which is quite sick since it does do the damage instantly, right? And not over a little bit of time. But guys, that, give me the gold, that right now actually already brings us to the end of this episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please guys, give me a little thumbs and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.